The TAPS NFL UK experience is an incredible opportunity provided by our salute to service partner, the NFL. This marks the third year we bring together surviving military families from the United States and the United Kingdom. Through the NFL's ongoing support, we provide four days to share, connect, heal, and celebrate the life and service of our fallen heroes. We had a beautiful opening dinner at the Royal Air Force Club in Piccadilly in London. The families all had an opportunity to introduce themselves and to share their stories. We were hosted by Callie Wingfeld. We were warmly welcomed by Sir and Lady Hillier and Lord and Lady Carnarvon. It was such a lovely evening. On Friday morning, we went to Winfield House. Such a lovely place and we were so warmly welcomed. We had coffee and tea with Ambassador Johnson. He asked about our fallen heroes and he asked the kids about school. Last year, we presented him with a beautiful oak tree to be planted in England in American soil at the ambassador's residence to represent the families of our fallen from the US and the UK. Oaks can live a thousand years and there's there's oaks in, in this country. This is a great environment for oaks. And uh, so they can live a thousand years, but long lived. So the relationship and the symbol, symbolism of an oak and what you're doing, TAPS, and what you're doing in the military is what that oak represents. And I planted an oak for the president, I planted an oak for you, and I planted an oak for the community who's not there. Something living and breathing and growing and reaching for the sunlight that would always represent our loved ones and their life and service. Tessie Ojo, the chief executive of the Diana Award, took us on a memorial walk through Kensington Gardens. We talked about Princess Diana and her life of service, and we talked about our fallen heroes and their lives of service and we talked about how we are all their living legacy. Then we were on to Kensington Palace for a tour. And on to Kensington Palace Pavilion for proper British tea. Saturday morning was amazing. We went up to the Raiders practice facility and we were warmly welcomed by staff and alumni and leadership and ownership. And they really made us feel like family. Coach Gruden and the entire Raiders organization have always welcomed and engaged taps on the field and off the field. It's never been about a selfie or an autograph. It's always been bigger than football. The families noticed the names of their fallen heroes on the back of the players' jerseys. They smiled and said, you have the same name as my fallen hero. The players looked down and said, we're honoring your heroes today. It was all so special. Players asked about the fallen loved ones, shared stories with the families. It was such a meaningful connection for the survivors and for the players.
Sunday morning was very special and very meaningful. We went over to the Tower of London. We saw the crown jewels, explored a little bit. And then we were welcomed into Her Majesty's Chapel to lay a wreath in memory of all of our fallen heroes. And then it was game time. We were so excited to see the Raiders take on the Chicago Bears. and even more excited to see them win. We could not be more grateful to the NFL for their ongoing support. This is the third year that we've come to England with American families to connect with British families. These survivors come together and share in the most meaningful way. The children connect and the adults connect and everybody just becomes one family.